everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in American Truck Sim with our Greyhound Bus Mod Edition. We're calling it Greyhound Edition. Super excited. Last time we were doing this mod, we had a lot of issues because of the button box wiring with the uh, changing around of the desk and the pedal and the wheels. Everything should be fixed, so no more stalling, hopefully, and everything else should come out to be great. We still do have the vision problem. If you look inside, it's super, super bright. When the sun comes up here in a couple hours, it's going to be super bright. But we are going from Phoenix, Arizona today down up, actually, to Kingman, Arizona. Really excited about this trip. Really excited to be back in the bus. And I also found out, look, we have a dome light. Um, we already picked up our passengers. We're not going to edit them in. It just it drops your frames down to like two a second if you do that. So without further ado, Let's head on out. Let's see if I remember how to drive something this long. That's super. There we go. That mirror, the top left, uh, did not have a correct image of it. Gotta remember, there's no nose on this, so we can actually get a little bit more distance than normal. Sorry, not used to the brakes on this. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? That was so close. <laughs> Alright. Back forward. We do have to have this display on just for the speed since it is in kilometers on the speedometer there. But I hope everybody's having a good day. Really excited to be back into this mod. Really excited to be back in American Truck Sim. Trying out some couple different things. It is Tuesday. Just had a good lunch with the missus, watched some TV. You know, it's kind of like one of those relaxing days and it sucks because I know it's only a Tuesday and I know just because I'm a teacher, I'm able to say that. I know there's a lot of you working. Hopefully this episode can bring you some smiles and Disconnect you from the real world and all the troubles. I hear a puppy has come up the stairs. There she is. I was right. There's the nuggy. Hi, Nug. <laughs> For those of you who do not know yet, uh, Nuggy or Nugget, it's her nickname, uh, is Ella. She is my service dog. I'm partially deaf, so she's always with me. You know, when we're at home, I let her roam the house, and I try to keep the door to my office closed for recording purposes, but she always wants to know where Daddy is, huh? That's a good girl. You're gonna let me go, even though you're gonna sit right next to me? Does that bus rear end you? Not a smart thought, but okay, I'll, we'll take it. We're on the road again. 3.30 in the morning. Great time for a Greyhound bus ride, right? <laughs> we're doing this at night slash in the morning just because um, you'll see if the sun comes up beforehand. It gets so bright with this uh, window that's here where everything looks white. It's, it's quite obnoxious. So we're trying to go at night and then maybe during the day we'll just do a different camera view. Yet again, I know the bus simulator came out but that looks more like city bus driving. I enjoy the freeway, long haul kind of stuff. This is what we're working with, by the way, just in case people have not been able to see it yet. Not used to the brakes that come with this beautiful modern Greyhound bus. Very well done, too. Very well detailed. The only problem that I have is that the side of the bus, kind of like right in the middle, in between the axles, um, is invisible. Now what I mean by that is a car can actually, if I was stopped in the middle of this intersection, a car is going to drive right through the middle of the bus. It's kind of a pain. Hi Nucky. You're a spoiled brat, that's what you are. For those of you who may not be up to date on some of the videos on the channel, I highly recommend Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Fantastic movie. Plays with your emotions. 
Uh, I've seen it once thus far, plan on at least seeing it two more times, and uh, just to, to really digest everything that's happening, there's so much that's happening in this film, definitely need to see it more than once to understand what's happening. All right. Of course, we don't have Ella in this rig, so I can actually see the mirror as she runs downstairs. There we go. This is a beautiful road to be cruising out on, too. I'm actually going to hop out really quick and get a screenshot. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. I forgot we don't have any really cruise control, so let's keep our foot down. Let's get these people where they need to go. It says about three more hours, 8 a.m., so we will be able to actually see the sunrise, so... I'm curious if cruise control will work in this thing. Apparently it does. Oh, it didn't before. All right. <clears throat> Not gonna complain, sorry about that. Oh, what's this? Looking at the GPS, there's some weird... Okay, so it's like an off ramp and then a left turn. Continue through the desert. All right, you're the boss. Beautiful morning slash evening, however you might want to look at it for a drive. Heading towards Kingman, 93 North. All right. Slow it down a little bit more. 30. Hey, well, we're going 30. Let's get up here into this left lane. 65 mile is <laughs> speed limit. Right, yeah, let's go 65 right here. All right, let's slow it down. Perfect. Oh, off we go. Very little time to check out the bus. Sun is starting to come up. That looks so good. It looks so pretty. Oh, and a train. Neat. Right, I'm going to step out really quick, try for a better screenshot. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Got something much better that time around. All right, let's continue our journey. As the sun rises through the desert, so does Greyhound. <laughs> All right, we're holding about 65. Still got about three hours, nine minutes left of this journey. Nice short one for today. Just now that I'd fixed all the bugs from the first episode, I really wanted to make sure that we had a set for the second one. For those of you who may just be joining, um, if you were not able to see the beginning, this will be up on YouTube at Padfoot TD Space Games. Here on Twitch, we do live stream at Padfoot TD. As well, you want to see some cute puppies that are always barging in. It's Padfoot TD Games on Instagram. Sorry, I got a I got a puppy face staring at me right now. Just through the door. Like what you doing? Oh, it's funny. All right. 93 is the way to go. Brakes? I literally had the brakes all the way down. What the heck? Well, there's one for you. Everybody okay? Jeez. Happened last time, too. Okay, I guess we don't have all the bugs worked out. Screw it. I'm going through that yellow light. Yep, had the brakes literally all the way down to the ground. Hmm. All right, well, good. All right. I'll cut you off because I don't want to be near you anymore. That's a bummer. That's the first time that's ever happened. Well, we did have an incident last time around, but yet again, the brakes. Huh. Either way, beautiful morning as the sun comes up. 5.34 in the morning. Definitely the red eye of bus travel for anybody who's done a bus before. I don't want to mess up our momentum. We have places to be. Love to see if we can get that down to 
and 8 a.m. arrival time. It's nice not to have it stalling every 20, 20 seconds, though. As you can see, as the sun comes up and gets brighter, look at You can actually tell right now, everything's becoming white. Which is why we usually have to switch to this view. Because that's what the inside looks like. Let's sit here for a bit. <clears throat> Enjoy as much as I possibly can. I usually like to stick in the cab. Right now, we don't really have that choice. Yeah, yet again. Nah. That's why we tried to run, run at night. I don't know how long that route was going to be, so I tried early in the morning. Let's stick back outside where we can at least see. Oh, this view. Is this one nice? Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. I'm going to go a little bit to the side. Looks a little better. Wow, that's pretty. Besides the texture missing on that mountain right there. Not a view I usually sit with, so it takes me a little while to figure out where it is. I'm actually gonna have to have that back up because I don't have my GPS. <laughs> oh boy. I knew it was gonna be a short one, but I hope everybody's having a good day. Leading to a good week. It's supposed to be really hot up here in New England this week, so we're kinda bunkering down to adjust to that. We haven't been in hot weather for a little while. Oh, like super hot weather. It's supposed to be 90, 99. Which I know for some parts of the country is nothing, but up here in New England, what we usually do with like negative 30 in the winter. Does not bode well. We don't do well in the heat. About an hour and a half left of our journey. Pop back in really quick. It's just so hard to see. It's just so violent on the eyes. Granted, it's definitely more on my screen than what's showing up on the stream. The stream processes a lot better than my screen does. Let's, let's get on over here. Just keep with the realism. I got I gotta stick here a little bit more. I know it's bad on the eyes, and I'm sorry. Let me do it. know down in the comments below if it bothers you or not. Enjoying the open road, you know what I mean? Of course, I think we're gonna be stuck in some traffic now. A U-Haul in front of us that does not look like it's keeping up the speeds. Oh, luckily, we're getting off soon. Onto the 40, so. Hopefully, won't be in traffic for too long. Now, the bus. Probably does have a horn. <laughs> Oh, that's a steep hill. That truck just, like, disappeared. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Let's put on a little more brake before we get to that turn. Yeah, don't, don't go. Don't go to the left. Freeway entrance. Thank you for letting me know. Good force feedback in this one, too. Alright, nobody coming. Slide on over. <clears throat> Alright. Well, we're at a 7.47 arrival time. I was hoping for 8, so I'll take that. Let's pop back out into what the real world looks like. Nice. Hold on, what's it say in the back? Neat. Am I speeding? I feel like I'm... Ah, oh, no, we're almost right at that sp a good speed, so... 
Oh, we're gonna be arriving any minute anyway, so does not matter. I know this doesn't, these usually wouldn't have an air brake, but it's nice to still have that function. Did I turn that on too early? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, bright signs. Everybody's waking up. I'm sitting on the bus for so long. As we get ready to come to our final destination. I've got a green light and I'm not paying attention to it. No? Okay. It is pretty. I, I wish we could fix the uh, the front window because, I don't know, it, it's something different. It's wicked awesome to drive. You can actually drop and lower that very rear axle. Yeah, time to go. Not used to driving buses, so not used to the turn radius here. And again, touchy brakes. I don't... No, I don't want reverse. Definitely don't want reverse. Sit in the brake cab for a little bit. I think we're going to FedEx, which is a fantastic... We left from Walmart going to FedEx. You know, the uh, Walmart slash uh, Greyhound station. Municipal parking. <laughs> Alright. Even though I think we can just go right up there, we'll listen to our GPS. We'll take this turn. If the brakes will kick in. A oh, little bit on the curb there. And let's see, we rear-ended somebody, ran over a curb. Doing good for this video. And again, I don't know what's up with the brakes in this game. The curb, my fault. Brakes, not as much. And I can turn up the sensitivity, but then that's going to completely screw up when we go back driving in the trucks. Random cones, let's grab one. Souvenir from Kingman. I believe this is it. Sense is weird too. There it is. Brakes. <clears throat> All right. Let's turn a bus. Where do you want it? Right there. All right, we can do that. As you can see, that's what the uh, cargo looks like. By the way, over there, the people. It's funny. All right. We'll back up to your best loading bay. Sometimes it doesn't let you connect, so we're, we're going to find out here in just a second if it's going to count this or not. Yeah, it looks like another one of those not going to count moments. Straighten it out just a bit. It's just the way that the mod works. It sometimes will let you, sometimes won't. Nope. All right. Well, I'm not going to drop them off in here, then. Let's drop off our people right out here. Actually...
Here we go. Nothing like being dropped off at a FedEx parking lot. And brakes are completely down. Oh, gotta love it. Parking brake, engine off. And there you have it. This was much more successful than the last time we attempted to do this mod. Um, I know that there were some wonky things last time and patches, but this one overall was good, all except the brakes. But you know what? Still a beautiful mod, still super happy about it. Um, and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you guys like this? This actually is the number one viewed uh, video on our channel, which is very strange. Um, but hey, you know what? Whatever works. But if you like what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch at Padfoot TD. On YouTube, it's Padfoot TD Space Games, where we put archives of all of our videos, plus a lot that we don't stream here on Twitch. As well, you want to see some really cute pups that we're always talking about, it's Padfoot TD Games on Instagram. But I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!